After three days at sea, the base of Perdido arrives at the oil field. Now the crew get ready for the next stage of the operation. Today they will install the bottom half of the rig, called the spar. On Perdido, we decided to build a spar because that would give us the stability that we needed. And the spar is basically a can. The problem with the can shape is that when it floats, it wants to naturally float in this orientation, right? And uh, we need it to be in this orientation. The crew faced the mammoth task of upending 18,000 tons of steel. They release the air from the flotation tanks and then pump seawater into the bottom end of the spar. This flips the whole structure into an upright position. And now they must attach it to the ocean floor, thousands of meters below. Instead of driving impossibly long steel piles, the engineers at Perdido use ropes and chains to hold the rig in place. But they need something to secure the ropes on the seabed. So they attach huge metal cylinders to the end of the ropes. Once these cylinders, called suction anchors, reach the sea floor, the engineers use clever physics to drive them into the ground. This is what's called a spud can or a suction anchor. It's used to secure oil rigs like the Perdido to the ocean floor, but obviously at about 50 times the size. If I turn on this vacuum pump, you can see it creates a suction. So I do the same in the water. If I place it on the ocean bed, which this represents, initially it only goes into its depth under its own weight, so it's hardly getting into the ocean floor at all. But as I pump out the air in the water, it draws itself down into the ocean bed, creating a firm anchorage. There it's now secure, and obviously at about 20 feet diameter, a group of those will provide an extremely firm anchorage, which would be almost impossible to pull out. Suction anchors are the perfect solution for anchoring deep water platforms like Perdido. But activating a suction pump at the bone-crushing depths below the rig is impossible for human divers. So the engineers use robotic divers, called ROVs, to do the job. Right now we're at 8,049 feet. You really learn how to fly with your eyes. It takes a little time to, to get proficient with one. They're very maneuverable. An operator four kilometers away maneuvers the ROV towards the suction anchor and attaches a pump. This removes the water and creates a vacuum that sucks the anchors down and locks Perdido's foundations into the seabed. <laughs> 